Okay, hi, my name is Sabrina Beta, and I did my topic on Zionism in the State of Israel. So it was discovered that the Nazis had murdered 6 million Jews, nearly all the Jews of Europe. A tiny leftover remained and wanted to immigrate to Palestine, but the British would not allow it. The Jews turned against the British and, using wealth warfare, forced them to relinquish their hold on Palestine which was sanctioned by the UN partition plan into a Jewish state and an Arab state. The Arabs did not like this decision. Thus, this started the Israeli War of Independence. 600,000 Jews fought off the armies of five Arab states, which are Jordan, Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq. Um, the outcome of the war was the Israeli Declaration of Independence on May 14, 1948 in which the head of the Zionist organization declared the establishment of the State of Israel. This picture on the top right is um, the Israeli Declaration of Independence when they were declaring it, and this picture on the lower right is the depiction of the Arab-Israeli war itself. Zionism. Uh, Zionism is the national movement for the return of the Jewish people to their homeland and the resumption of Jewish sovereignty in the state of Israel. Um, Zionists were radical Jews who wanted the development of a Jewish nation. This was the establishment after the Arab-Israeli War with the creation of the state of Israel. Once established, the Zionists fought to resume Jewish sovereignty, meaning they wanted to be a self-governing state. This right here on the right is a flag of Israel, which was adopted as the symbol of the Zionist movement, and it has the Jewish Star of David in it. On the left right here is the map of Israel and its surrounding states. So its surrounding states would be like Tel Aviv, um, Ashdod, Natina. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing all those right, but yeah. Um, so, Zionism has come to include the protection of the Jewish nation in Israel through support of the Israel def Defense Forces. So, Zionism was founded by, Theodore, by a man named Theodore Herzl, uh, which is that dude right there on the right. Uh, he wrote Der Judenstadt, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but in other words, it's called the Jewish State. Which was, and this was published February 1896 to intimidate, acclaim, and, and controversy. The book argued that Jewish people should leave Europe if they wished to for Palestine, their, which is their historic homeland. The Jewish possessed a nationality. All they were missing was a nation and a state of their own. Upon creating Israel, the Zionists created the Israel Defense Forces to protect their nation. So this right here is the map I chose, and since 1947, the progression of Arab Palestinian to Jew the progression of Arab Palestinian to Jewish Israel has been significant. Currently, there is little Palestinian land left, as the most of land is Israel. So you can see um, the green is the Palestinian land, and the white is what the Israel and occupied land. So from starting off from 1947. Half of it was Palestine. Going all the way to the present day and today, half of it is Israel's. Uh, the dot represents, that dot right there in the middle represents the holy city of Jerusalem, which is considered holy to three major religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the religions that we also learn in class. Israelis and Palestinians both claim Jerusalem as their capital. different forms of Zionist movement. What do I mean by that? So over the years, proponents of Zionism have disagreed about some beliefs of Zionism. So they have been creations of several subsections of Zionism, such as political Zionism, religious Zionism, social Zionism, and territorial Zionism. So these subsections were heavily influenced by their geographic origin. For example, labor Zionism originated in Eastern Europe and believed a revolution of the Jewish soul was achievable by Jews moving to Israel and becoming farmers, workers, soldiers, farmers, workers, and soldiers in a country of their own. Okay, 
So, the majority of the Jews found in Israel are the Maharahi Jews. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But these Jews descended from local Jewish communities of the Middle East, including modern-day Iraq, Syria, Bahrain, and Kuwait. Another type of Jews found in Israel are the Subharanic Jews. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they are from the Arabian Peninsula. On a national level, Harry Truman, that guy right there on the left, was president at the time. Along with his political advisor, he believed the Jewish vote and contributions were essential to winning the upcoming presidential election and that supporting Zionism would garner the support. Many people tried to convince him otherwise, such as Secretary of Defense at the time, James Forrestal. Forrestal insisted United States policy should be based on national interest and not on domestic political considerations, such as the upcoming presidential election. I'm excited.